and by a cane moon or so a daluline mochineke conosi whether so line if I name a sine rock as one country as yellow as no other than a mamma or me fair no near the kitchen each other wabble in the minute do as minute and a mazo I wanna no I put on a quiet did it is sir um I open yours I will tell you Ozi Ghana um morning tea um from the office of Biafra Prime Minister of uh, Biafra Republic Government in exile. I would over the Nukoza Hotel from the office of Prime Minister Mazi Simon Eba. Um, but stomach on the next move and the next step to exist from Nigeria. Uh, yeah, be fair. Oh, could I go to Swedi? One man up on the cool gear. On the day, say on a drop or I comment to no. But stomach, uh, if you know, if a prime minister, when you know, all right, over to you, sir. Is open, and then also, we are we have already promised them they're gonna have a better business environment in the Afro Republic, they're gonna have more secure environment for business for their oil business we are also going to offer them more better deal in a well secured environment in a well secured biafra land and a better better deal than whatever they are doing with nigeria corrupt system and the islamic state of nigeria today that their investment in nigeria is not guaranteed and will never be guaranteed but in biafra land investment business interests will be protected and will be guaranteed by the Afra Republic. So the door is open for all the oil companies to understand that the time is coming that you can't operate with it with Nigeria license in the Afra territory. And that time is fast approaching. Thank you. Thank you, my Prime Minister. No. I appreciate the answer. You stayed it up. You're welcome, Bella. Thank you. There were no Thank you. you. Okay. Adiele, thank you. Adiele, can you please uh, bring your question? Good evening, ma. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Raise your voice, please. Your voice is not loud enough. Are you still there? He muted himself. He muted himself. I don't know. Please unmute yourself. Are there lies there? No, 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 no. Okay, yes, yes, is it's here now. Hello? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. No. Please, can you hear me? Yes, please, go ahead. You have Loud and clear, go ahead. Please, what I want to know, I just want to ask a question. That's the ESM, those ESM securities. Eh? Are they still under the control of those? DOS criminals because I'm worried about them. <laughs> no, no Eastern Security Network is under the control of any DOS. Because I have been hearing that the M O D O D O S. You are not, you are not following this struggle, please. You are not following this struggle, and you are not. Uh, I don't know when you start. I just started following yesterday. Mm. You are asking this question is making you. I'm not. Please, please I'm ask, not, this question you are asking now is making you to be sounding like an enemy to the Biafra government in exile. So you cannot come here and be asking about who controls the Eastern Security Network. The Eastern Security Network is under the Biafra government in exile and it has nothing to do with okay. the US. No, I'm happy to hear that. I, I can't be an enemy to the Biafra government. But your, your, question, your question is suggesting that. Because you cannot be following this and you start asking mm. about who controls this ESN. With everything that is happening and all the updates, everything we are getting, you are still asking this kind of question. Do you have another question or will you should go, go forward? Go forward, right, it's done. done. It's done, let's okay. go. Um, okay, continue from here. Uh, uh, one more, sources. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Manzi for uh, being here. Um, without wasting much of our time, we need a critical question um, this, so that uh, uh, it will also uh, give uh, our 
the our uh, people serving in the government in exile, Biafra the program in exile, the the opportunity to increase their working capacity. So your question here uh, is as uh, is a duty to the uh, Biafra Republic government in exile. So bring up your questions in any department uh, except on some critical issues on security. But any department, finance, uh, social, welfare, uh, technology, anything at all. So that is where we, he is waiting for you. And the achievement of shutting down Nigeria from 31st, what will it give to Biafra? This is where we are heading to. Your question will shape in the future from 31st. Thank you very much. And uh, I will um, call on um, uh, Christian. Christian, unmute yourself. Christian Chinwugo, Chukugo, unmute yourself. Chukwogo. Good evening, my honorable PM. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. He's hearing you. Yeah. I have two questions to ask. Um, one goes this way. I'm in the zoo. Yeah. But there is uh, one of our brother, our brother who is uh, popular, that is uh, uh, he's still in the tribunal now. Uh, the zoo might want to play games when it comes to releasing uh, uh, Honorable Mazin Namdukan. Um, okay, what if the tribunal now judge now give uh, our brother the opportunity to be the president of the zoo? Now, how are we going to do this? We are fighting for Biafra. Our, our my brother, my brother, oh, my brother, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Let, me, let me respond to him. You know. <laughs> uh, first of all, I do not know. I don't understand who you are calling your brother. I do not have any brother like that. So, and I'm not here to discuss whoever wants to be president of Nigeria has nothing to do with Biafra. It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with the people that are fighting for the liberation of Biafra with me. So, whether anybody becomes the president of Nigeria is not our business. Our business is that the more you try to fix Nigeria, the more we want to destroy it. And you can never escape okay. us from destroying Nigeria this year. Thank you. Okay. My uh, the second question goes the way in uh, Enugu that uh, the governor has made it like is making it a priority that any worker as a government worker that is working, any worker that doesn't work on Monday, most especially that's it at home on Monday because he, we honor it very well in Enugu. So he said any worker that doesn't work what is the uh, the privilege like the opportunity that uh, this that when if we lose like in the case now we lose our, our our jobs what what are they preparing for us to get is he going to do the job for you is he going to do your job it can't it can't so don't worry no, nobody is going to suck you let me tell you nobody is going to suck you until the offer come this is not the first time they are threatening you. I do not know. You know, sometimes some of you ask some questions that I, I really begin to wonder if you people are human beings. You were there since 2021 when the Abu State governor were threatening the workers. If you don't come to work, they are going to sack you. Omahi threatening people. Uh, governor Saludo threatening people. Obi are not threatening people. Abia State governor threatening people. Obu Zodema is still threatening them tomorrow. This one just come yesterday and start threatening as if you have not heard governor threat. you he can't do your job how many people is he going to sack if you try it that is the end of his government even before the Africa cup so all those threat doesn't is it is it not the, is it the first time he's saying it when he entered did he not say anybody who didn't open he's going to close the shop did he close any shop did he not say he's going to sack every worker did he sack anybody all those things are threat because see people don't know your right and so they want to use your brain and threaten you Nobody can threaten their friends and make them to succumb. That is why we took years to start to do broadcast to educate you, you know, liberate you, liberate your mental, uh, you know, the mental slavery and all that. For you to understand that you are the one that have power, not them. 
So with all the okay. threat of uh, of uh, Mba since he started, has he sacked anybody? No. So what makes you think that this one is when he's going to sack you? He's not the only governor in the southeast. So and I, know, I want you to understand that Mba. <clears throat> anyway. He is going to have a long spoon to eat with because he is never going to sleep in any way as far as this Biafra struggle is concerned until Biafra come. He will never ever sleep with his two eyes closed. That is the assurance I'm giving to him because I know the threat he's threatening Biafrans and even those he's killing secretly. He's not going to go free. We'll make sure that he doesn't sleep with his two eyes closed in any way until Biafra come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Prime Minister, for that. And um, uh, Ken, Ken, unmute yourself. Go straight to your question, please. Ken, Ken, are you there? Please, uh, if you wish to ask questions, raise your hand. Hello? And, uh, yes, yeah. and, uh, and uh, uh, success, we will have just 10 minutes to go. Okay, process, okay. Process, if I have like his hand hand hand. so remember if I is up there. If I have spoken, yes, before, okay. I think. No, if <laughs> if I were after Ken, can you go? Uh, you can go. Please, uh, Ken can go ahead. We have 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, it is honor to uh, be in the same space with the Prime Minister of Japan government in Ezai and the, the Mandela of our time, because we uh, have <coughs> Mandela with his own. But today we are with the same time, our, our, our question. Your question, your question, your question. So, There's no time. Um, I want to ask just one question which, uh, that has been bothering me. Uh, the question goes like this. If uh, all the Southeast governors, or Haneze Ndibo, and all Haneze Ndibo, as we call them, and all the religious leaders come together to, uh, to meet our PM or our government, uh, I'm asking this question directly to our PM. Are you going to allow them for any meeting when they come together, realize their mistakes, to come together for negotiation or to 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 talk to you, or they select themselves, both the religious leaders, uh, the apples, and the, all the rest of them come together to fix the date for negotiation for meeting, and the, all the rest of them are you going to welcome it? Is it a welcome development? Thank you, sir. If they want to talk to me, I believe they may have repented. I will want to listen to what they have to say. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my brother. And uh, from here, if Tanya Mora, uh, please unmute yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you, our PM. I will go straight to my point. I will first of all make a point, then I will now ask my question. Um, uh, and then uh, that I got a lot of things to do. I'm going to ask you a lot of things to do. This will be the base of my question. I want to ask. Because we know that oil exploration serves the interests of the Britain. If, if, in any case, that the British encourages any armed forces or they deploy any armed forces to start to set up a resistance to the seat at home order that the Biafra Republic government in exile has put in place. Is there anything that we, the Biafrans, we do about that, knowing fully well that this is our land and our territory that we are protecting, my PM? Nobody will send any military to start uh, 
attacking civil disobedience. We have set up every mechanism to defend our land against any aggression during the sit at home. So any aggression will be met with equal resistance. We are prepared and we're ready to go. That's why you must stay indoor. Thank you. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you. Um, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mazifan. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, our PM. Good evening, our the freedom fighters. Uh, I don't have much to say, just to thank our Prime Minister for his efforts and courage. I am so happy for him and he gives us hope every day. I am happy we have uh, another David standing for us at this critical time. And I believe with him, we will get our freedom. So I pray for good health and uh, more protections upon him. And I believe that Biafra must come through him. We don't need another, we don't need to expect another person. I believe he is the final bus stop. And we are good to go. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you, everyone. That's my submission. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. Mm -hmm. uh, where the where the where the so please go straight to your questions after you then uh uh ski you are one other person we speak then we talk to you okay good evening everybody please my question is that i'm from the zoo i'm coming from the zoo so i want to ask my pm this question this night that all the uh, media warriors that I've been following, I have not seen anybody from a job among them. And I don't want, we should not allow Asari Dokobo bring issue among us with the, uh, the job people. That is number one. Just clarify that particular place for me. Two, this protest in Finland, please, my Prime Minister, please be very, very careful because you know the zoo are very, very bad in. Yeah, British way. That is all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, we just uh, better not even make comment on some certain issues. Sari is going down and he knows it. Um, I don't want to make much comment. He has, uh, he has hit the ball rolling. So let us see who scores the net. Who's caused the who kicked the ball to the net? He's bragging on social media to please those who paid him. He has failed. He no longer sleeps in his house. They are on his neck, telling him to deliver all his bragging and bragging. And then at the end of the day, we dealt with his men and their body littered in our forest and our bushes. So you should go and pick their bodies first before talking to Simon Ekba. I will be his end. He can't be trained to be used as a jihadist in Biafra land. So he can brag in order to please the people paying him, but he knows himself that he's going down. He no longer sleep in his house. He was confessing to them that when they were asking him, I what is going on? What is going on? He told them that what is going on, even myself, I don't sleep in my house again. He was confessing. But when he comes to social media, he starts shouting as if there is something he has something to offer. Why you see him bragging on social media is because they sent some stupid idiot claiming they are coming to Finland. He thought that uh, you know he will come here in my own country and do anyhow. We are here. Let them come. We will see how they are going to end in this country. So forget about uh, the idiot. He's seeking for attention. He's never going to get attention. The Afro Liberation Army will capture him. He will confess and uh, tell how he has been planning to kill him at the end of the day. And the world will see it. 
Ijo is Biafra. Biafra is Ijo. All the coastal region they are part of what we're doing. And very, very soon, when we start the inauguration of the Biafra de facto government in homeland, you are going to understand how far we have gone. That's all I have to say on that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, uh, please, uh, if you uh, you are worried about uh, Ijo not being part of the media warrior, it is not selected. So anybody can uh, come in into the platform, uh, open platforms, then uh, let's see your efforts. That's all. Take the message to your people in your own language and your own way. Uh, that's all. Thank you very much. And the uh, uh, ski, she, ski, ski, she, ski. Yeah, I've been trying. Uh, please go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, you, the, you will be the last speaker, yep. then uh, we're going to round it up. Yeah, good evening, my PM. Um, my own will be more of a recommendation and also a sort of question. Um, given the fact that the Western world, what they have been doing in Africa as a whole, give, uh, looking at what happened in Libya, looking at what happened in some certain parts of Africa, I will know that the Western world, they are afraid of Jafra, that's the truth. There was a time they said they don't want another Japan to ride. No. And also putting in consideration that Nigeria may not, you know, allow Jafra to go very easily. I'm just asking, I hope, I don't, I don't need I don't need the question, the answer to be stated. I, I, I'm just hoping that, given the fact that over three million Biafra were slaughtered in the last civil war, I'm just hoping that we are also making preparation for, you know, external help for people that will support us in case it goes the other way around. There are warmongers in the world. There are people who can meet and, you know, a kind of have an agreement with them in case things go the other way around. They can support us. It will not look like what happened last time. They will supp supply us ammunition. They will supply us food. They will supply us everything that we need to get this freedom that is so precious to all of us. Because what they are doing in Nigeria is something I've never in my life Envisage that will ever happen to. In fact, in this world, I've never, I've never thought about it. In this world, Nigeria is the place where, we, where rotten people live. I, I, I can't even comprehend it. Sometimes I try to blank, to block it from my brain because Nigeria is so rotten that living in Nigeria alone is enough to make you a dead person. So what I'm just trying to say is that, I, I, I just wish. We could have help in case it goes the other way around. We could have help because Nigeria will not let us go just like that. That's just my question. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Like you said, you don't need to answer the question because I don't know whether the question is, uh, is something. So all this why, where we have come the level where we are now, it is now you think it is the right time to come and start talking about whether we have backup, whether we have somebody to support us, whether we have a nation. So all this while we have been bombarding here and there, making moves, making pronouncement, and nobody just, it did not occur to us to get uh, alliances from nations and all that. You think it is just this your advice now that is going to make us to start looking for it. Now, wow. Well, we have those, we have crossed those, those lines and those boundaries many time, long time ago. And now we are in the face of liberation. And the only thing you need to do is to support financially, physically and otherwise, whichever way you can. Not to come here and start talking, asking, hey, you want us to go and contact this country. So you think in this 11th hour is the time you are coming, you are coming to give us advice to contact a nation. All you need, what have you done to the struggle? What have you, how have you supported the struggle up to this point? It's very important. So we are doing everything that is needed to be done 
and uh, it is not in the 11th hour we are going to start looking for inertia to support us that has been done and well taken care of thank you okay, thank you sir. and i think thank I you end it here because i need to sleep and we'll yes continue, continue yes time. thank you very much always stay stay your finger crossed on our space make sure you share our tweet follow it is very important nigeria will never ever remain the same and in the coming weeks everything will happen in nigeria yes make sure you stay safe stay indoor and not come out cook yes. and uh, eat in your house with your family as we are in the process of biafra liberation it's going to be very historic two weeks coming and you will leave to tell the story thank you may god bless all of you and good night from here thank you my pm thank you very much sir thank you thank you thank you, thank you my pm thank you thank so you. much uh eta marco thank, thank you for being with us thank you very much thank you, sir. 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 Yeah. Sir, thank, you. Yeah. thank you thank you thank you thank you good night you must go and listen to Simon Eba. He is doing a very fantastic job. Yeah, very great yeah. job that Simon Eba is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and yeah, share his videos accordingly. Business. Very, very important. He is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we are making. And you must listen to him. Very, very important. Good evening. You must go and listen to Simon Eba. He is doing a very fantastic job. Very great job that Simon Eba is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and share his videos accordingly. Very, very important. He is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we are making. And you must listen to him. Very, very important. You must go and listen to Simon Eba. He is doing a very fantastic job. Very great job that Simon Eba is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and share his videos accordingly very very important he is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we are making and you hey bomo ne gente dalo ni nenu kono si wene sare no bo sinketa ase na chuko ka bi maga no edu ni ne ni adike chine cha da agu agu eh ya bi funa nu gi fe the biafran prime minister he had the twitter session of biafran prime minister and some questions and answer ya bi fa bogo chikasi mu chine ka anya ko na za kwafa na ilu akukwa eh enuri ya ifuga som ajuju di chiche mu na na aje ya and if we call si we na se ya then tell the key be abo ke fi we de ki ku bosta makaka ka ya bi fe se aga obuni fine me na do no mu makabaru ki share and comment ya your own opinion on the commission below that on line no mu chine ka kun sinesa na ya me ni ilu akukwa this is Eastern News 24 by Sinewater Dunnu Nkozia.